more time, Silent Night. Church, say amen. amen. Let the church say amen one more time. Amen. amen. For our call to worship this morning, let's listen to Matthew's account of what happened before and on that day. Matthew says to us in Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25, this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Someone say the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophets. The virgin would conceive and give birth to a son. And they would call him Emmanuel. Somebody say Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate the marriage until she gave birth to a son. And he gave him the name Jesus. Let us pray. Jesus, that wonderful name. Jesus, the lady of the valley. Jesus, the bright and morning star. Jesus, the way maker. Jesus, the one who said, let there be and there was. Jesus. We thank you for giving us yet another privilege to be in your presence. You woke us up this morning. Put some breath in our lungs and some strength in our limbs. Give us another chance to be in the land of the dying as we make our way to the land of the living. We thank you for blessing us to be here on this Christmas Sunday. The Jesus that made all of this possible. We pray, Lord, that you bless us, God, and protect us. And all that we say and do here today will be said and done to your glory and to your honor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Spirit, let the church say, Amen. 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 Let's remain standing. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. This is Christmas Day. Come on. Worship and fellowship. Let's enjoy the presence of the Lord this morning. Yeah. Joy to the world. Joy to the world.
though I can't hear you. God is good. All the time. I still can't hear you. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is great. Amen. You may have your seats. Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. I can't hear you. Am I alone in church this morning? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. So just turn to the person sitting next to you. Give him a smile and tell him Merry Christmas. And I'm glad to be in church with you this morning. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome all of us here this morning on this Christmas Sunday. As the Lord bless our hearts, he woke us up this morning. Put some breath in our lungs and some strength in our limbs. Allow you to get up, get ready. Brought you here without any major accident. If you had one, you're still in the land of the dying as you make your way to the land of the living. Come on, give God another hand of praise. What a mighty God we serve. Amen, amen. We want to welcome all of us here this morning. To those of you who are watching with us by way of live stream all around the world, you tune in to Providence Baptist Church, Broad Center and Ashman Streets, the cornerstone of this nation. We'd like to say welcome. God bless you. We're glad that you join us every Sunday morning in your city, in your town, on that continent. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the feedback so that we continue to be of service to you as we worship God together. Amen? Amen. That all of our friends and folks around the world who are worshiping with us by way of live stream. To those of you who are right here on campus, we say welcome. God bless you. And so if you're here this morning for the first time and never been here before, amen, we hope you're not too shame and you're not too bashful. We love to see who you are. And so if today is your first time with us, we'd like to ask you to please stand. All of our first time worshipers. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you, God bless you. If you belong to somebody else's church, when you get back next time, tell them Providence Baptist Church say we're glad to have you join us in worship. Thank you. God bless you. You may have your seats. Our usher is going to come to you with our first time visitors uh, slip. Fill in that slip and drop it in the offering basket. And if wherever that number can reach you around the world, somebody will call you before the end of this week to say thank you for joining us in worship. Amen. This morning, we're glad to have with us my namesake, Samuel and Deborah Amazing. Welcome. God bless you. They are friends of Dr. Benson. Amen. 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 We're glad to have with us back home one of those old-time Baptist preacher, a pastor, a former member, a member. Let me not say former. I'm going to get in trouble. He's going to, I'm going to get in trouble with him. A member of Providence Baptist Church, one of our pastors who now lives in Philadelphia, Reverend Blah, Reverend Dr. Blah. Come on, will you stand? We're glad to have you back with us. Amen. 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 And we are glad to have with us in her 101 101st year, celebrating 101 year this past week. Mother J. Eva George, 101 year old. She's here with us. Just wave to us. Amen. Amen. Deacon, Deaconess Mother J. Eva George. Amen. We're glad to have you. We were at that celebration. We had a wonderful time. You hear her speak. And you hear her move around, you wouldn't know she 101. Amen. See that pretty hat she got on. My goodness. Amen. My Eva, we are glad to have you with us. Now, are there members of Providence or others? Uh, we call you Decembrys. You only come here during the December time. That's all right. We love you anyway. Any of our members who are here visiting, I uh, met Brother Dennis, uh, the brother-in-law of Sister Precious. Dennis, uh, I can't remember the first name, but what, Brother Dennis, we're glad to have you. Welcome, and welcome to Providence Baptist Church again. Uh, members of Providence who are uh, living abroad and who may be here on vacation, if you're here, we say welcome. God bless you. And we're glad to have you worship the Lord with us this morning. Are you glad to be here this morning? 
If you have it and you know it, say amen. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Shout amen. Uh, I know you have it and you know it. Come on, let's stand to our feet as we do our time of fellowship. I'm glad to be in the service one more time.
Yes, our God is a good God. From January 1st, 2022, December 21st, to the 5th, sorry. December 25th, 2022. Five more days. And we'll be walking into 2023. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. You're not clapping, oh. You people are not clapping. Give God some praise. Some of us might be on our best of affliction. Hallelujah. Some of us might be bereaved. But God is still good. And God is still God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I should not be here today. I should not be here today. Wednesday. December 22nd, God intervened in my life. We had a funeral here that Wednesday morning. We we're supposed to go for a eternity, but because they were carrying a body, I was see her way. So, in the shallow area, we preached when we stay here across the road at 8. Salam, my office will toss more. I told the pastor, I come here, go right on here, Mecklen Street. I go in Keke, I went Mecklen Street, I got down, walk across Front Street. As soon as I entered the store, my ass started to swing. Ah. I sat down. When it quieted down there, I got up and walked further in the store, but then I came back to the place. As soon as I sat down, my breath caught. I could not breathe. I was fighting to breathe. And I started to say, God, it will not happen. I refuse to say it cannot happen. That is not my posture, it will not happen. That he can restore me. I started to pray, I started to pray, I started to pray. There was no pain. I wasn't feeling any pain. I managed to walk from there in front of GSC. And I knew that if I had attempted to come up the hill walking, I would have fallen down. So I came across the road from GSC and took a care and came up here. I went straight into the clinic and said, and then please take my pressure. And then into the pressure by the machine working. But the heartbeat, the heartbeat will appear and will disappear. The heartbeat will appear. She said, man, your heart not beating correctly. So I said, but where I sit, I can't even sit down. So let me lie down the bed for a while. When the children kind of will get me, I lie down the bed for a while. My case skin and the carry me room. As soon as I entered the house, I told my husband, use your PP machine. Take my pressure. He took my pressure. My pressure was normal. My pulse was beating 182. And they said I had my heartbeat per minute. I took medication. I ate. I lied down. They quieted down for a while. Around 10, my body, my chest, like, it was exploding. I mean, it was so, so uncomfortable. So I told him, I said, take it again. He said, what happened? I said, take the pressure again. He took it. It was 162. Because of the way I was feeling, I said, let me call that I kill So I called that I I said, that I kill This is a situation. He said, man, yes, man. Tell your husband to carry you to the emergency. Your heart is not beating properly. I got in the car. We got to the emergency. Even to walk from in my room to the car, it was a struggle. I got to the hospital for me to get down from the car too. It wasn't easy. Because I was not pretty, it was God who was pretty to me. I was not, I couldn't make it, I couldn't, I couldn't afford to bring on my own. I got down from that car. I got in the, in the, in the emergency. They said no bear, but finally, I was able to get a bear. I tell you, Saturday morning, when I got up, my, my, my pulse had gone below 100. They asked whether they gave me medication. The medication they prescribed, they didn't give me the medication. But God brought my heart beat back to normal. Amen. I say to each of us, we do not know the day. We do not know the hour. We do not know the minute. We do not know the second. We have no idea. People who have come up the hill and say, oh, very not now. 
People will be saying Allah. Because our right here now few few minutes ago. And then you come to us and tell us she's dead. It's not true. But God kept me. He kept me. He kept me. And today is December 23rd. He intended to end at December 22nd. But I'm here December 23rd. I get all the praise. When we're in the hospital, my daughter told me, said, Mommy, we got to, to Nine Street. And she just turned around in the car. She said, Oh, my representative fellowship people having a, a service. Refow are going there. She said, When she got to the refow, they told her to pray. She just heard herself saying, I preach, I speak life. 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 After what she said, somebody went and said something to the pastor and they called three persons and she was amongst the three. And the same thing, they were praying. The devil has signed a death warrant for the 22nd of December. But God is so good. He said, it is not yet time, Maria. It is not yet time. It is not yet time. It is not yet time. I am not ready for you. Oh, Papa, I gave you the praise. I worship you. Daddy God, I honor you. I reverence you because I saw death. I saw death. I saw death. And you walk me up your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I say to you, this life that we have is not ours. God has given me another lease on life. We are living this life. And when the Uno gets ready, he will take it from us. You don't know the minute, you don't know the hour, you don't know the second, my people. Save God while it is there because the night coming when you will not be able to serve him. Do what you can do for him. Even if it is small, do it for him. Because when you do it for God, God will wash your back. God will intervene on your behalf. Where all of us are standing now in setting, I ask you to stay. Just stay where you are and appreciate God. Appreciate that there's life, there's breath that He has given to you. You still have a list on it. In your own words, just appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It could have been me. Lying on a cooling board this morning, it could have been you lying on a cooling board this morning. But God has seen a fear that we should be sitting here. Open your mouth and appreciate God. Open your mouth and worship God. Open your mouth and praise God. Open your mouth and tell God, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are still listening us. Listen your breath to us, oh God. Thank you. Hey, Yahweh, you are good, oh. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are faithful. You are dependable. You are awesome. You are mighty. Thank you for healing power, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hand, just wave it in the presence of the Lord. Just wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. God gave you those hands, so oh. God gave you the strength to raise your hands. Appreciate the Lord. Don't feel too big to lift your hands to God. Don't feel too proud to raise those hands to God. It's because of Him that you live, that you move, that you have your being this morning. Raise your hands to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. If you are here this morning and you have prayer concerns, we ask you to come to the throne of grace. I tell you, you serve the racing Savior. He's in the world today. 
You said Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Shama. You said the miracle worker, the covenant keeper, the protocol breaker. You serve him. Whatever issue you have this morning, I encourage you to come to the throne of grace. He's here. Come. Lay at his feet this morning. Lay before his throne this morning. you are this year this year this year to meet you at the point of your need this year to turn your situation around this year was to give you back your life this year was to restore the years the brokers have eaten yes just come to him this morning 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 to your house to celebrate the Lord's birthday on the Lord's day. We are so grateful Lord, we say thank you. Thank you Jesus. Our brothers and sisters have come this morning Lord. You know their problems and you know their heart requests. We just commit them into your hands Lord that you're going to meet them according to your riches in glory and according to the plans you have for their life. You will work miracles in their lives for situations that they cannot understand. We just lift them up into your hands this morning. And we say, have mercy. Have mercy. Those who are sent, Lord, touch them. Those who are here for financial problems, touch them and provide for them. Those who are here for situations that they don't have control over, Father, we ask that you take control over them. Lord, how sweet it is to hold a newborn baby and feel the joy and pride he gives. We just want to thank you that Jesus came into the world to die for our sins. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because with our Christmas, there will be no redemption. With our Christmas, there will be no salvation. So we say thank you. So we say thank you. Thank you for sending him. Thank you, Lord. Who could have thought that this little child who healed the sick? Who could have thought that this little child will make the cripple walk? Who could have thought that this little child will make the blind to see? Who could have thought, Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We gave you the honor and we gave you the glory. Father, we stand here this morning to say thank you for what you are doing in this church. Thank you, O oh Lord, for our channel layers. We say thank you. The request came in just a short time. What you touch men and women to provide. So we say thank you. Thank you. You say you are the light. And whosoever found the light found life. And we say thank you. That this light will shine to bring glory and honor to your need. We say thank you. May those who provide their pocket never go dry. Their voices never go dry. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, what you are on earth. You taught us to pray and communicate with you by saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hello be thy name, the kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
the church say amen. 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 I'd like to invite the chair of our deacon's ministry and ask one of our trustees to come up here as well. Any one of you. A few weeks ago, the Lord laid on my heart to do something for us as a church, to do something for him, for the church. And I began to ask all of us, I was not asking for your tithe and your offering. I was not asking for the special that we all have committed to give to build the four-story Mural Russell daycare uh, and kindergarten school. I was just asking you to look in the special extra blessings that God had given to you beside all the other blessings. And you said you could find something. So I want you to lift up your heads, O ye gates, the scripture says. Lift them up right now. Look in the sky. Let's look up and see what the Lord has provided for us in these chandeliers. We went looking for two chandeliers. The Lord provided us four. Many of you came and said, Pastor is small. I said, ah, Pastor, this one is for the small, small blessings. And we were blessed. The Lord provided. Listen, I went to the store. I went to City Builders and I went to Eagle. And they called me back and said, we hear what you're doing in your church. We want to be a part of it as well. And so they themselves sent their extra blessings. And together, all of us were able to raise uh, about five, or $6,000, and we were able to get these chandeliers. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give God a big hand of praise. Hallelujah! But now, and you know, eh? Let me break it down. And you know, eh? We now got the new chandeliers. It means we got to get rid of all of those old ancient ones that are still here, huh? Oh, I thought you were been saying amen also. All right. So those of you who didn't find the little extra, God is still providing extra. I want you to keep looking for the extra. We need about nine more, just like these small ones, to replace all of these old ancient 1976 kind of looking chandelier to a 2,000 and something kind of looking chandelier. Let the church say amen. 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 At this time, Deacon Reese will give us a special prayer for the chandelier, and I will turn that over to the trustees. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you on this Christmas morning with our hearts filled with joy because you've done it again for us. We just praise you, Lord. We just worship you. We glorify you. Whenever we ask of you, you always give us. Because you say, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. So we ask you to help us and you've helped us, dear Jesus. So we are so grateful. It tells us in the Bible, it says, let there be light during creation, and there was light. And so that reminds us that we need to have light all around us to get rid of the darkness. So we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you. We ask you, Lord, to bless all of those who contributed to these chandeliers. Help them, Lord, multiply their resources. And those that didn't have to give, Lord, we still have to get more. Touch their hearts that they will be willing to supply the extra ones that we need. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We worship you at this time of the year. It's a time of giving because God gave his only beloved son to come to us as a child to take away all our sin and shame. So that, that each and every one of us, our hearts be touched, that will be willing to give, especially to the church. We bless these chandeliers that they will be used to light up the edifice of this church so that everybody passing on this hill will see the light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, we worship, and we glorify you. But it's in your name that we say, Amen. Amen. I had a private 
partner, Brother King. Will you just wave to us? Brother King is my private partner in this special project. You know, wherever I find something good to do, I find one of you to come and join with me. Brother King is my private partner in this special project here today. Amen. At this time, I'd like to turn these chandeliers plus the new ones that will be coming to others over to our trustees for the maintenance and the use of our church. Brother Trustee. Good morning, church. Pastor Sam, it was a few weeks ago when someone came and blessed you with an offering of $500. You called me up and you said, here it is. It's going to buy the chandeliers. By your profession of your faith and your willingness to act upon it, God has done more than you've asked. May we pray for you that your leadership will continue to raise us to higher places within our society and in the nation. And we can assure you that as trustees, we will do what God intends for us to do. Thank you very much. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to invite Mother Reeves, please to come forward for a special presentation. This indeed is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. Good morning, Providence. Here at Providence, we have um, different ministries and one of the most vibrant, I will say, I will be biased. One of the most vibrant ministries at Providence is the women's ministry. <laughs> yeah, so um, every year we, we have what we call an annual meeting. And at the annual meeting, we are divided into seven circles. We wear these beautiful uniforms. And I thought, it's not just enough to wear the beautiful uniforms and be outside beautiful, but we need to be beautiful inside as well. And our name says Women's Union, Women's Missionary Union. That means we are to support missionaries. That is the first and foremost responsibility we have as women's ministry. So this year we did something a little special. We have five uh, ministers that work for Providence in different parts of the country, different parts of Morovia and outside of Morovia. So we thought this year we'll do something special. We'll collect whatever items that we could find and some money. So I will now call on Reverend Woods, who is our evangelism minister. He will come up here and will symbolically give him one bag. We have five of those bags. He will pick one up, and the envelopes are here with some money in there just to say to the men who have sacrificed to go out there to share the, ministry, to share the word of God. We have Reverend Choir, who is at Charlotte Baptist. Reverend James M. Harris, who is at Amadou Town. Reverend Michael Nuba, who is at Gobe. I've been to Gobe before. I am petrified of breaches. And it's not easy to get across to go to Gobe, so I know what he goes through. We have another minister, Reverend Tiba, who is at what Paul Waterside and Reverend Coast Boy Mumbo. He is all the way in River G. And those of you who went to a convention a few years ago in Maryland, you know what the roads were like. At some point, I thought Maryland was going and we were following Maryland because it couldn't come to an end. The roads were so horrible. So these men have sacrificed to be in these places so that the word of God can be preached. 
So the women, women of Providence, please stand up because they gave financially and they gave kind. So we want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's not only wear those beautiful uniforms, but let's be the hands and feet of Jesus. So Reverend Woods will give you these envelopes. And this is just one bag. We have four more. And sisters who still want to contribute can do that because after the service, we'll turn everything else over. So if you bring anything else during the service, give it to us. We'll add it all up and give it to him. And the ministers will come later on and pick them up. So thank you, sisters. Thank you so much. God is good. And all of the time, we are grateful for and on behalf of the evangelism department and the all stations pastors we want to extend our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to the women's ministry. Continue working while it is day, for when that comes, no make a work. Thank you. God bless. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We thank God for those who share the living word of God here, there, and everywhere. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. These are your announcements for this Sunday, a very special Sunday, Christmas Sunday, December 25th. Please be reminded that if you are a new member or baptismal candidate or a new convert or transfer member, we will be starting new members classes the second Sunday in January between the first and second services during our Sunday school hour. If you are a new member, new members classes will start again second Sunday in January. Also, please be reminded that midweek service will be resuming this week at 12 p.m. Please join us for a time of prayer and a time of digging deeper in the word and allowing the word to dig deeper in us. Our regeneration of our music department will also resume, music and IT will also resume on Thursday, January 12th. Choir members, worship members, dance, youth, uh, IT, January 12th, we resume our regeneration process. Ushers, ushers ministry, in your process as well of regeneration, you will resume on the second Sunday of January your trainings as well. Your trainings are second and third Sundays after the second service. The GA is hosting a camp starting tomorrow starting tomorrow at the National Baptist, at the National Camp at the Baptist Youth Camp, sorry, at the Baptist Youth Camp. That will be tomorrow, December 26th through New Year's Eve, December 31. If you are in the second through 12th grades and you are a girl and you want to attend camp or you're interested, please see Sis Alice Reeves who was just up here. The cost is $15 per person. Be aware too that our medical ministry is still up and running here to serve you, Providence, with whatever your medical needs might be. They can serve uh, with blood pressure checks, checking your blood sugar. Uh, they can offer advice if you might be dealing with some things. So please make sure you make use of this ministry that is available here for us at Providence. Amen? Amen. Today we are celebrating Christmas the Providence way. Amen. And everyone looks so beautiful in their red and their Christmas colors. Yes, let's give yourselves a hand because you look like you're celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Our New Year's Eve service will be starting at 8 p.m. Our New Year's Eve service on Saturday night will start at 8 p.m. here at Providence. Followed the very next day by our New Year's Day worship service and we'll be having one service on New Year's Day at 10 a.m. Also be reminded that the offices are closed this week. Your church staff is taking a little break. Is that all right? Is that all right if we take a break, y'all? 
Amen. So the office will be closed and reopening again on Friday so that we might prepare adequately for our New Year's Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day services. Amen. Amen. These are your off these are your announcements for the day. And I said these are your offerings for the day, didn't I? So let's get ready to take that offering. If if you think about the one who gave us the greatest gift that we've ever received. The gift that never ends, the gift that never dies, the gift that never disappoints. Think about the one who left the glory of heaven to come down and live among us. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Think about all that Jesus has given you. Saints of God, I think it's time to give. It's time to give. Praise the Lord. Has God been good to you? The Lord is blessing us right now. Even right now. So gather up your tithe. Gather up your offering as an act of worship, giving to the God who gave us everything, who gave us eternal life. Amen. Let us pray together and ask the Lord to bless what we will bring this morning. And so, oh God, we thank you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you for the gift of your son. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you for the gift of eternal life. We thank you for the gift of your love, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. And today we say thank you by bringing our tithes and our offerings. We worship you, oh God, with everything that we give. We worship you, oh God, as we bring to you and give back to you what you have given us. Lord, bless the offerings that they might be used to advance your kingdom, to spread your word, to build up the believers, O oh God. And bless every household that will give, O oh God, that none would suffer lack because of what they give. And bless those who do not have to give monetarily, but desire to give, O oh God. May we all give ourselves, may we all give ourselves wholeheartedly to you for your glory, for your honor, and for your praise. We pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
God the praise. I say, give God the praise. Give God the praise. He deserves our praises. He deserves our worship. Give God the praise. to me. If there was never a Christmas, there would never be an Easter. Hallelujah! If there was never a Christmas, there was never going to be an Easter. Hallelujah! So we give God praise for Christmas. Give God some praise for it is. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah! If Jesus had not come, I would not have salvation. I would not be standing here praising God. Let's stand up and open our Bible to so Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. And the second one is 9, 6, and 7. Isaiah 7, verse 14. Please stand to your feet as we read God's word. Hallelujah. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Verses, verse 9, chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The word of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus, somebody. Our second scripture reading this morning will come from the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. We shall consider the first 14 verses. From the NIV it reads thus. In those days Caesar Augusta issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he, was, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Whilst they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news with all cause 
that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the time of David, a Savior is born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appear with the angels praising God and saying, verse 14, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom he, his favor rests. May the Lord our God add his blessings unto the reading of these words and may he by these words sanctify our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's say that again. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Glory to God in the highest. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. And so the Holy Spirit has already prepared the way. You've heard the word read. Now you will hear the word in song. You will see the word in dance from our children, from our choir, from our youth, through our musicians. We are celebrating Christmas we are celebrating Jesus. We're celebrating Emmanuel, the Providence way. How are we celebrating? I didn't hear you. Amen. So as you see, we got our children. We got our choir. We got our dancers. You just sit back and relax, but you don't have to stay seated. And let's get ready to worship the one who came and gave his life for us. Jesus Christ, our Savior, Emmanuel, God with us, the Word flesh, the Word God, the Word love, the Word who came to heal, the Word who came to save, the Word who came to deliver, the Word who came to forgive, the world who came to rescue. Let's celebrate Jesus, the living Word. Amen? Choir, y'all ready? Children, y'all ready? Dancers, y'all ready? Musicians, y'all ready? Saints of God, y'all ready? Let's worship our God, our King, and our Savior in Jesus' name.
Thank you.
stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and hair
the precious Lamb of God, born into sin, that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Let me hear somebody say, now behold. Precious, precious Lamb of God. Why you love me? It's the precious Lamb of God. Come on now, say, Holy. Holy is the Lamb of God. Why you love me so? Lord, I shall never know. You are the precious name of God.
Navidad, prosper año felicidad. Feliz
you are the spawn today. He has come to redeem mankind from the sin. Sir. He shall be called the King of Kings, the Lord of Laws, the Redeemer, the Mighty God. Oh, let's hail the newborn King.
want to. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we'll be doing for you joy to the world. In Jesus' name.
season we are about to do the last song and that song is the hallelujah chorus but we are asking you those that know the song in the congregation please join us let us celebrate Christmas in Jesus name please come and join us we are about to sing the hallelujah chorus put the hands together for our pastor hallelujah hallelujah Put the hands together as they come out. Put the hands together for them. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
about. Please see myself or one of the ministers so that we might introduce you to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who came from heaven to earth because he loves you. Do not leave this place if God has spoken to your heart and you want to give your life to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please see myself or one of the ministers that we might tell you how this king might be your king. Amen, saints? Amen. We would be remiss if we left this place. Sis Genevieve, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your creativity. Thank you that, well, the Lord allowed me to be away that you led this choir. And say of God, did she not lead the choir well? Did she not lead the choir well? Sis Genevieve, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Dr. Brooks, Dr. Brooks, Dr. Brooks. Woo! Thank you so much. Thank you. Children's choir, youth choir, musicians, technicians, choir. Y'all have given God glory and honor on today, and we bless God for each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Choir is on its way back to being the best choir in the nation. Hallelujah! For your ride. Right. Quickly, as we bring these services to a close, men, men of men of providence, men of providence, amen. Soldiers of the Lord, men of providence, there will be a. Um, men's ministry meeting on Saturday, December 31st, it's your annual retreat, the men's annual retreat on Saturday, December 31st at Brother and Sister Aaron D. Tarr, residence, residence on Duper Road, okay? So you know the place. If you are a man here in Providence, then you belong to that men's retreat. Let the men say amen. 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 Thank you, men. Thank you to all of you <clears throat> who watched me with us for the first time. Those of you who watched me on live stream all around the world. Those of you who are here in our midst. This is the only Christmas we have in one year. So we took you a little over the clock. That's all right. Amen. 
Amen. Every Christmas we take it extra. Huh? We do a little more because we only have one Christmas. Amen. Our first service here at Providence starts at 8. Our second adult service starts at 1030. We have a youth church at 1030 in downstairs. And we have children's church also downstairs. So every Sunday morning there's four services going on here at Providence. If you don't know Jesus, get to know him. Don't have a place to fellowship. Don't have a place where folks can love you too much. Come and join us here at Providence Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. This is the cornerstone of the nation. Amen. Amen. God bless all of you. Let's now all rise for the offertory. Again, we say Merry Christmas. Say that to the person standing next to you. Tell them Merry Christmas. And thanks for being in church with me this morning. Amen, amen, amen. As we bring these services to a close, just in case you have not already found him, just in case you were looking for him, if you came here looking for God this morning, he was standing, sitting right next to you. So just say to that person, I'm glad I sat next to you this morning. That was God in your midst. Let us receive God's blessings in the benediction. Let us pray. Now, Lord, the one who is able to keep us from falling, the one who is great, the great I am that I am, the one who's brought joy to the world, that the Lord has come. We thank you for blessing us to be here today on this Christmas Sunday. We pray, Lord, as we leave this place, but not from your presence, you'll walk with us, guide and protect us until we meet again. Bring us back here, Lord, on next Sunday at 10 o'clock as we celebrate on the New Year Sunday. But bring us on Saturday evening at 8 o'clock, De December 31st. So, Lord, we can walk into the new year with you. And we can shout, hallelujah. Amen. And we can say, happy new year, me not die. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for that person who stood and sat next to us. Didn't have to know them. Didn't have to look like us. Smell like us. Speak like us. But, Lord, they are your child. Lord, we thank you for bringing all of us here today. As we leave this place, but not from your presence, Lord, walk with us until we meet again in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the blessed Holy Spirit. Let the church say, Thank you.